how the mighty had fallen. Magic the Gathering's fifth expansion, Fallen Empires, came out November 15, 1994, just in time for the Christmas season. And any gamer who found a box of it under their Christmas tree probably wished Santa had brought them coal instead. Nostalgically seen as so bad it's good these days, Fallen Empires is a bad set that gets credit for doing something no other set had done up to that point. No, I don't mean sitting unsold on store shelves, though that's mostly due to Wizards overprinting the darn thing. Fallen Empires was Magic's first attempt at a tribal set. Each color had two feuding tribes, clerics and soldiers for white, elves and thalids for green, clerics and thralls in black, merfolk and homerids in blue, and dwarves and orcs in red, though goblins were kind of there too. Now there wasn't too much there to tie in the tribal elements aside from some very lackluster affiliated cards like Soul Exchange for Thralls and Location Lieutenant for Soldiers. This was also the first set to have art and flavor text variants for its cards within the set, with some commons getting three or four iterations each. Unsurprisingly, this was not terribly popular and was only tried a couple of times in future sets before being abandoned completely. Fallen Empires also had a couple of lasts for Magic the Gathering. It was the final set to use the tilted T as a tap symbol, and it was the last to use the original white mana symbol before Wizards of the Coast decided to upgrade it to the much more stylized sun icon that's seen on cards still today. Despite lacking any big, beefy creatures, the set also lacked chase cards, even today, the most expensive single in the set's a whopping four bucks. Any flyers of any sort, or even decent removal. The set did introduce to Magic three very important cards at the common level. High Tide, a card that eventually became a staple in a deck type of the same name. Him to Torok, arguably the best single discard spell ever printed in Magic. And Goblin Grenade, a key card in Goblin Tribal and 8 Watt decks. They all made their debut in this set. Fallen Empires also introduced the concept of Pump Knights, with a mirrored pair, Order of Liatbur and Order of the Ebon Hand. Both clerics, by the way, not, not knights. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Get on with it! Oh, right. So, Fallen Empires. It's pretty bad, but it taught Wizards of the Coast a few lessons in set development, printing, and a few other things that would prove to help in the future. A future that's cold as ice, one might say. Is Fallen Empires one of your favorite Magic the Gathering sets? If so, let us know in the comments below. And be sure to follow us on YouTube and support us on Patreon for more great Magic the Gathering content.